Did you know that Camp Gunnestanadek is located in Wattsburg, Pennsylvania? Well, the Renner family has signed up for a two-day stay, and I'm the counselor. The rolling countryside around Wattsburg, Pennsylvania is dotted with picturesque dairy farms. I can understand why the Renner family, who lived just down the road, wanted to build their new home here. They're looking forward to enjoying the view from their front porch, once they get it stained and sealed, that is, and that's why I'm paying them a visit. Well, good morning. Good morning, Ron. Hi, Ron. Hi, Hi. Debbie. Hi, nice to meet you. Hey, guys. Hi, Courtney and Danielle. Hi, Courtney and Danielle. I'm Ron. The renter's deck has just recently been built using pressure-treated lumber. The families decided they want the railing white and the deck itself a redwood color. With this in mind, Ron and I visit the local home improvement center to pick out the stains. Okay, for the railing you can use a solid color, but right. I want you to use a semi-transparent on the deck itself. That'll resist wear and keep from creating paths where you walk a lot. Good idea. Another thing is, let's try to find one that has a UV or ultraviolet filter so the deck won't fade. Okay. And most importantly in your case, you've got new pressure treated lumber, so yeah. I want something like this that can be used immediately on new pressure treated wood. We also pick up a variety of tools for applying the stain. Some pans here. Okay, and then a couple brushes down here, and here we go, and I think we're all set. Back at the house, we decide how we're going to approach the project. Let's do the railings first, uh, and uh, to keep the deck from getting any of the white on there, we should put down some plastic to protect that. Okay, okay? we all gonna work together? We start by applying wide masking tape to the deck at the base of the posts and to the bottom edge of the siding. Then we spread out plastic sheeting to cover the entire deck and the stairs. The edges are stapled along the wall and rim joist and taped around the base of the posts. With the deck and steps protected, we're ready to start staining. Now, there's one rule we have to sort of keep in mind. This is true anytime you're painting something like this. You know, sometimes in life you have to start at the bottom and then work your way up. Well, on railings like this, whether you're staining or painting, you got to start at the top and then work your way down because you're going to drip, and this way you catch the drips as you go. Come all the way down to the top railing. Excellent. Okay. You like to sing while you're working? No. Oh, you have a very nice voice. You know, I whistle while I work. Want to whistle? <laughs> sure you can. Try it. <laughs> Just give it a try. Rollers are great for applying stain quickly and neatly, but I don't like to rely just on the roller because stain is not paint. It needs to be pushed into the pores of the wood. So let me trade tools with you here, Danielle. Here's, this is a painting pad, okay? I've already got paint on here. And what I want you to do now is just to go over the top of this and kind of just light pressure, just long strokes like this. We're just gonna push that stain in. Here's the big person's paint pad. Okay. It's the same material, just uh, for larger surfaces, it works a little bit faster. Reach up to the top, that's good. Okay, now bring it down. One long, smooth stroke. We're forcing that stain into the pores of the wood that we applied with the roller. Very nice. A brush is the best tool to use for the underside of the railings. For the small vertical posts or balusters, we use a variety of tools, beginning with a small pad, which is perfect for applying stain to the ends. This offset roller turns out to be an excellent tool for reaching into that narrow space between the balusters. Good, thank you. Now, for the face of these balusters right here, we'll go back to our regular roller. And finally, we work the stain into the pores of the wood with the painting pad. Well, we've just about finished the railing, and the day is coming to a close. Everybody hold your hands up. Okay, if you've got paint, you've got to come back in the morning. You've got paint. You don't have any paint. No, I don't. you got to work tomorrow, right? Yes, I do. Okay. Great, thank you. So it's Ron and the girls tomorrow. Uh, be here bright and early, and we'll hit the deck. All, All right, right, thank you. Good. Bye. Bye-bye. Oh, good morning, girls. How are you? Oh, it sounds good like it must be awfully Mom. early. Good morning. It's time to go to work. Oh, this is coffee for me. Mm -hmm. Oh, thank you very much. Okay, girls, I'll be right out in just hey. a couple minutes. Thank you. With the railing finished, this is the day to tackle the deck. We start by removing the staples holding down the plastic sheeting and making sure the tape on the siding is tucked underneath the bottom edge. A wide putty knife is the perfect tool for this. 
We're going to use the same piece of plastic now to protect the railing. So I need to make like a slit right here. There we go. And then we can take it over either side of the post. Since the stain we'll be putting down on the deck is transparent, we spend a few minutes sanding out lumber stains that would otherwise show through. Girls, welcome to camp going to spray a deck. Okay, I'm glad that you're here today because we're going to have fun. This is the fun part of this whole job. This is semi-transparent stain, so it's almost it's very thin, and because it's that thin, we can apply it with a garden sprayer, which will make everything go a lot faster. But never, no spraying each other, just the deck. So let me pour this in here. Oh, Ron made a mess. Okay, there we go. That's why we put the plastic down. Next step is to pressurize the sprayer. Here, I get a hand from the girls. Okay, girls, are we all pumped up? Mm -hmm. All there right, let's start this thing now. We'll hold our sprayer about six inches away from the edge here. Let's go back and forth, nice, smooth strokes like this. Now, this is a very fast way uh, to apply stain. The only problem is that I want to work this stain down into the pores of the wood, like we okay. did the white stain over here. Okay. So, any kind of brush will work, but this is actually a, a deck brush right here. This designed uh, for this purpose. We don't have to bend over to use it. Okay, Debbie, okay. why don't you take over and do a little spraying here? Um, okay. The trick here is to spray the stain a section at a time. An area about six feet square would be about right. Stop and brush the stain into the surface of the wood. Then move on to the next section. You ladies have this well in hand. Alrighty. Now, I could brush this on, but this material is very thin. I know it's going to be easier just to use the same sprayer. However, once again, we don't want to just let that lie there. I want to take a brush, and we're going to brush this in. It's called back brushing. Once again, the whole idea is just to work this into the wood. Well, this job is finished, and it's time for the unveiling. Okay, my deck staining pals. One, two, three. Let's pull it off. Oh, look at this. Look at this. Before the deck was stained, it looked like an add-on. Now it blends with the house, creating eye-pleasing detail and texture. Okay, listen. You and most of the credit has to go to Team Renner, whom I've dubbed Certified House Calls Deck Refinishers. Here's your honorary roller. Let's finish off with a House Call Salute. Yay!